eight, $18 a pound for ribeye steak. Look at this. It's unbelievable. <laughs> 764 and here's some ground beef patties look at this look at the look at this they're they're old it says 725 isn't that today and then you look at this 729 look at that holy cow five pounds of these are eight dollars and 88 cents holy cow well today is wednesday afternoon i'm here at walmart i have to get some things and I haven't done a Walmart video in about a week, so uh, we're going to head in and have some fun. But you know what happened today. I was reading the news today. Yeah, I know. I, I, I read Market Watch. I don't watch CNN. But anyways, Chairman Powell raised the interest rates a quarter of a point. Last time he didn't, but today they went up a quarter of a point. So that means your mortgages now are going to be another quarter point higher which means they're, they're already unaffordable, the homes. They're going to be even more unaffordable. Anything with an interest rate, a credit card, adjustable percentage rate mortgages, if you have an APR loan, a, a home equity line of credit, a home equity uh, loan, any type of loan like that, it's going to be going up a quarter of a point. Anything with an adjustable rate, and if you get a fixed rate, that's going to be up on a new mortgage another quarter of a point. I mean, I thought the government said that things are getting uh, affordable. I don't believe that. It's all a lie. And you know, another thing is, uh, I was at Walmart. I went on a fishing trip over the weekend. <laughs> There's always horns going off here. The guy left his horn going. Anyways, I was on a fishing trip over the weekend, and I went into Walmart to buy some snacks. I was looking for a, a protein bar, and I ran into a, a package, and it said bioengineered food. And I said, what the, what the heck is this? And so I'll, I'll read you the... Uh, uh, the the uh, definition of it, it said, food that contains generic material that has been modified through certain laboratory techniques and for which the modification could not be obtained through conventional breeding or found in nature. That's bioengineered food. So get ready for that. That's just crazy. And we're going to look at those snacks today. And um, today I'm looking at the uh, gas here at Walmart. Let's Let's check it out. There it is, three dollars and sixty-seven cents for gas at Walmart here, and um, at Wawa it's the same price. I tell you what, they're just gonna screw us all the way to the end. <laughs> I tell you, three sixty-seven a gallon for gas, so it's going up. But when I was in Orlando, that was a tourist area, right by a bunch of hotels and by a mall, so that's why they were charging that. And it's been like that for years. It's just crazy. So, anyways, uh, let's head into Walmart. Let's check prices. Let's have some fun. Oh, here's some watermelons. It looks like they went up to $6.72 for the melons as I walk in. Those are the bigger melons right there. And here's the littler ones, $4.67. I've seen them $3 by the roadside. But uh, they used to be more, but uh, it's not too bad, but still almost $5 for a little tiny melon like this. I used to get these $2 not too long ago. Those days are gone too. Oh, now here's some Granny Smith apples, dollar ninety-two. I like them, and I think that's pricey. But here's the Macintosh, a buck, a dollar thirty-seven. So, and you know what? I think this isn't too bad, a dollar ninety-seven. I know my parrot likes these. I always buy them for him. He loves apples, so a dollar ninety-seven for Macintosh. So something has come down a dime. Uh oh, something's two thirty-two a pound. What are these? These are kind of like. A nectarine type um, I'm st I don't know what they are but they're smooth they're not they're not um, they're not hairy <laughs> whatever those are but uh, they're two dollars and 32 cents can someone help me out what these things are oh and here's some potatoes russet potatoes like I said these are Idaho it's just not grown in Idaho so they're 477 five pounds and the the five pounds of Idaho's are 888 holy cow are these white potatoes these are I bet these are in the wrong spot no these are it white potatoes that can't be right it says white potatoes that can't be right for 888 that's just not right that's ridiculous it says five pounds of white potatoes are 888 that's right these are it 888 no way holy cow five pounds of these are eight dollars and 88 cents holy cow that's just that's just nuts I don't know what happened to potatoes, but let's look at some of these. Eight forty-eight for the potato Yukons. Why? What is going on with these guys? I don't understand why the white potatoes. And here's some Idaho's five thirty-six. Why are those only five dollars? And those are eight dollars. It's five pounds, 
in five pounds. Something isn't right here. I don't like the price of potatoes anymore. Six ninety-eight for red. Ten pounds of russet here are eight twenty-seven. So these are some crazy prices going on here. And let's check. You look at this. Here's the single ones. The single Idaho's right here are the russet dollar sixty-four. They have a bunch of them. They look better, but the, what doesn't look good is a buck sixty-four. That's insane. These these potato prices are really strange here. Just crazy. Now, can someone tell me the price of a plantain here? Because I see 98 cents and I see 42 cents. Now, I believe the 42 cents, but I don't believe the 98. And these are some big, big plantains. These are some monsters, and these are really good if you cook them in butter and brown sugar and uh, right in a pan. They're really good. Oh my gosh, but I can't tell. Look at this 42 cents and 98 cents. This is what you get at Walmart. You never know. And you know, I just have to get the bread here, and I still like this bread here. And and uh, I give this some of this stuff to my parrot and to my dogs. They're great snacks, and I like it toasted too. So I want to get some of this. I made some great garlic bread out of this, and I and I make it out of this bread here, and I just slice it like that. When I put the butter, olive oil, and uh, parsley on it, and the in re like I said, real butter, and holy cow, it's just delicious. And then then I toast it in the oven. Fantastic. A dollar forty-seven. This is the way to go for garlic bread. Let's check some hamburger prices and see if anything has come down in price. Six twenty-eight for something in here. These are all mixed up. It's ground chuck seven ninety-two a pound. Seven sixty-four. And here's some ground beef patties. Look at this. Look at the. Look at this. They're they're old. It says seven twenty-five. Isn't that today? And then you look at this 729. Look at that. More, more looks like old meat. I hate to use the word stale, but it doesn't look right. Look at this compared to that. Oh my gosh. 642 a pound for regular hamburger right there. Ground beef. That's pricey. And look at this. More reduced meat. Look at the color of that. And look at the color of this. Oh my gosh. And here's the tubes of beef, thirty-one eighty-two for a ten-pound. And the guy said this is one of their best sellers. I believe it. What else do we have here? Let's look at something that's good here that that I would buy a ribeye steak. Let's look at the ribeyes, thirteen ninety-seven. I think they've come down a dollar, thirteen ninety-seven. But they just oh my gosh, twenty-one dollars and ninety-three cents for two of these guys, a pound and a half. And, and I found something here. Look at this. This is called a prime ribeye. $17.97. And it doesn't look prime to me. And it's $13 for a three-quarter ounce, three-quarter pound steak. This is a sorry looking sad ribeye. Oh my gosh. I don't call this prime. I don't know what you'd call it, but that isn't it. That's just sad. $18 a pound for ribeye steak. Eight, $18 a pound for ribeye steak. Look at this. It's unbelievable. <laughs> now, my favorite chicken legs, which I really like, the drumsticks here, are $1.42 a pound. For Walmart, that's not too bad. $0.98 cents when you go to Sam's Club, but that's kind of pricey, and your chicken thighs are $1.97, where they're $1.38 at Sam's. See, that's, that's pricey right there, $9.50. You can get... Uh, a huge container of them for the same price at Sam's Club, a dollar thirty-eight. But here it's a dollar ninety-seven a pound. Holy cow! Now this is my favorite place here, right in the uh, uh, cold section where all the vegetables are, because I'm out of vegetables and I didn't realize until this morning, and I had to cut fresh carrots for my uh, parrot. And I really love these carrots and peas at, at ninety-eight cents a pound. And I need a, a big bag of the sweet peas because he really likes these. <laughs> and we eat them too so you know what I'm gonna get three of these guys yep you can't have too many of these and um, and look at look at the green beans here too 98 cents a pound and these are really fresh like I said boil them five minutes put some butter salt and pepper on it and they're really good this is the best bargain I think in Walmart and then then your mixed vegetables are 88 cents for these guys 12 ounces of fresh mixed vegetables Carrots, green beans, corn, and peas. You can't beat this. This is one heck of a deal. I like that. <laughs> Look at that. I'm all set, but this is a really good deal. I like it. 
I can't see where ketchup has come down in price. $3.98 for something like this. I mean, I, I just can't see that. And then this is $10.28 for two of them. Well, you can get three of them for that price. $10.28. You can get three of them for that price at Sam's or Costco. I don't want to look at Hunt's Natural. $5.12 for this. That's nuts. Just crazy. $4.48 for this guy right here. $4.48 for that. It's just nuts. $3.48 for this. Crazy stuff, isn't it? I mean, overall, when you look at these these ketchup prices, it's just nuts. $5.68, $4.48, $2.68. That's in the wrong spot. $3.98. All these things. $4.48, $3.24. Just everything is just nuts. It's just crazy. $6.98. Come on. $6.48, $4.47, $6.98 again. I see that number too often. $7.79 for something here. Holy cow! I was looking here last week trying to find the uh, uh, the bars and I couldn't find the bioengineered snacks, but I'm but um, I was looking here, but look at these these fig bars, six dollars and twelve cents for these. Here's the called junkless cinnamon rolls, $4.98. I mean the price of these. This is the only thing that's affordable. These uh, uh, chewy Quaker granolas, but there's nothing to these at all. And then you look at these Kodiak. Look at this. Six ounces for four dollars and ninety-six cents. And then you see stuff like this value pack, but that's not too bad. But I don't know what's in it. But I saw something here that was just crazy. And uh, here it is. This is called Lara Bar and lemon, twelve dollars and ninety-four cents. And this right here six 1.6 ounce bars look at this six dollars and 98 cents for this this is just crazy right here this is 13 dollars for these snack bars 12 dollars and 94 cents that's crazy this is nuts for this stuff let's let's look at some more look at some of these prices for this stuff 12.94 12.94 $18 and 97 cents for that 18.97 Look at this. That's it. Oh, that's it. That's it for six forty-four. That's what it means. Oh my gosh, that's it. That's funny. <laughs> that's nuts though. Eight seventy-six for something like this. These are protein bars. I wanted to take out on the boat fishing with me. Reduced. I don't want anything like that. Six twenty-four. Six ninety-six. Seven eighty-two. Look at the prices. Six three sixty-two. Three ninety-six isn't too bad, but it's still crazy. But this is nuts. All these prices, this isn't too bad, but there's there's nothing to this. Look, it's four ounces for $2.97. Everything is just crazy price. Some of these, some of these are okay. They're not too bad. But $8.27, my gosh, everything's just pricey. These are crazy. All this stuff. I'm still trying to find the bioengineered food though. But this is the only thing that's affordable. And just a quick check on the cereal boxes. Look at this $4.93 for stuff like this and none of this stuff has come down in price they said it has but it really hasn't here's the mega size which is which is considered uh you know half of what you get at sam's for a lot less and then 4.93 can you imagine this this is the family size four dollars and 93 cents for the cheerios that's just crazy well here's some here's something dollar 97 i could live with something like that but you don't see it when you get up to the peanut butter crunch 4.78 this little miniature box right here that's 12 ounces is three dollars and 66 cents for a miniature box 478 this is your average price now five dollars for a box of cereal and a, a little 11 ounce box of this could you imagine how long would it last your two kids 377 it'd be gone in a day ridiculous prices for cereal let's check some bread prices here i haven't looked at those for a while oh i'm not liking this 484 for martin's bread that's oh it's this cinnamon something wrong spot sara lee 368 for sara lee bread for one loaf artesno 448 look at this one one loaf is 448 346 for something up here 448 again 344 for something like this. Two, 242 for whatever this is. Bimbo. Never heard of that. What else do we have? Nature Zone 342, 346, 443 for Nature Zone. My gosh. 
I don't know where they're getting the prices. Look at some reduced bread, 327. <laughs> I don't like reduced bread. That means it's stay old, right? <laughs> Let's look at some Wonder Bread Classic. 292 for classic Wonder Bread. It's a 20 ounce loaf, so there it is, three dollars, about as, as cheap as you're gonna get right here. Let's check some egg prices. Three dollars and fifty-eight cents for 36 of the great value eggs. I'm I'm impressed with this. Remember when they were $14 at one time? I'm impressed there. Five dollars and sixty-three cents for 60 of these eggs. Holy smolies! Yeah, we were getting scammed. But then again, you come over here and you get 18 brown eggs are six dollars and twelve cents, and then the Eggland's best 538 because they put a stamp on them. 452 for the organic, six dollars for the brown right there. They put the word organic on an egg and they charge a double. Look at this. This is what you get here. Isn't that just sad what people do? They they just destroy stuff. And uh, here's some brown eggs, cage free right here. These look nice for 282. I like that. That's a good price right there. And 258 for these guys, cage free. Now these are some good prices right here. I don't know what this is. Just eggs, made from plants. Oh, just eggs. Four dollars and fifty-seven cents. It's not an egg. It's a plant-based scramble, is what it is. Oh my gosh. And this is my favorite reptile, and <laughs> in Walmart. And it's not as deserted as it was before where the shelves usually they're they're empty but they're about 60% full today but uh, you can tell look at this <laughs> it's just a mess it's always a mess half empty and look at this the bleach aisle I don't get this why the why is the bleach missing why I just don't understand it what happened to all the what happened to all the bleach where did it go? Nothing has come down in price either. Not a thing. Now here's an end cap of toys I showed probably two months ago for $48.88 and no one's, they haven't sold any of these. And they've been here every time I've come into Walmart and they, they're completely full and they're almost $50 for toys they haven't sold any. Well, that was just a quick trip in the Walmart here. I had to get a few supplies. I really like the uh, the frozen vegetables for the parrot. I like them too. So anyways, did you see that Powell, like I said, he rose the interest rates 0.25%. Uh, uh, that just makes mortgages that much more unaffordable. I mean, people that want to buy a home, they've already doubled in price. And so they said, hey, let's just jack up the rates anyway. I don't know what they're trying to do to us. They're trying to break us. Well, they're, they're doing a good job of it. And uh, did you see the meat here at Walmart? I mean, why are they selling? meat like that I just don't understand that and then some of the uh, the protein bars the crazy prices on stuff you saw the bread was up the cereal still up everything is still up in price and when they say that it's dropping in price I don't believe any of that stuff I never believe them anyways I hope everybody enjoyed the show give me a thumbs up for like don't forget to hit the subscribe button until next time this is Scott with the real economy we'll see you